While parents may have concerns about schools reopening, is it safer to attend in person or to learn remotely? That's a good question. Fox 13's Tamara Vifanua shows us how Salt Lake City School District is trying to find some middle ground. Here at the Salt Lake Center for Science Education, teachers say the safest spot that kids can learn on campus and social distance is outdoors. Teachers and students at Salt Lake Center for Science Education are teaming up to provide outdoor classrooms for the fall semester. I think our school has uh, long been a leader in um, outdoor education in general. We have a really good outdoor ed um, program and it's very supportive of doing things outside. Teachers have selected 10 spots on campus where there's plenty of shade and room to practice social distancing as well as Wi-Fi access. And so we have a little bank of materials that go with each of the sites and it's pretty low overhead. We're just using the materials that are within our building anyway and we're not like necessarily building any big new structures. We're just hopefully helping shift people into a mindset of there's spaces here that can be used and used safely. There are also outdoor classrooms at Bryant Middle School and Whittier Elementary. Wickelson believes they've created a template that other schools can put into action. Um, it's certainly like the safest place for teachers and for students to be right now. It also can be a really good enriching space anyway. And so we're hoping that this is something sort of positive that we can create out of um, tough times. Recent graduate Bella Leonardo was happy to help out. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Her senior year didn't end the way she had hoped and she wants to make sure incoming students can adjust to any learning environment. Just hang in there. It's not permanent. Um, it's gonna take time. Just figure out places you can study, ways that you can escape and then give yourself a break once in a while because it is rough. Teachers hope to fill up these classrooms as soon as possible before remote learning starts September 8th. In Salt Lake City, Tamara Vaifanua, Fox 13 News, Utah.